his wife going to turn to me saying, whatever you need to say to my man, you can say to me too. I don't appreciate all this small talk behind my back. Hey world travelers, welcome back to my channel if you are subscribed and if you are new, welcome to World of Wes. I'm Wes and I hope that you do stick around and subscribe to become a part of my world. And today is currently day one of four, taking Simba out on a walk before I head back and get ready for my commuting flight, which will be a direct flight to JFK and then I'll head to LaGuardia via public transportation and I will operate one flight from LaGuardia to Raleigh, so I'll catch y'all later. travelers so we are in raleigh it took us an hour and six minutes to get here um, we only had 17 passengers on our flight and i have an amazing flying partner we have one day down three more to go but this trip is already filled with good vibes and positive energy like i love it um we have like a fairly decent overnight we don't leave out of here until 11:30. And then we'll be dead heading to Atlanta. And then I'll tell you guys tomorrow's schedule will come tomorrow. I'm like, I'm filled with energy because I just got a workout in and I'm so proud of myself. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, world travelers. Today's officially day two of four. Um, it's currently 11.10. We have a van scheduled for 11.30. About to go downstairs, get my ice packs, make some oatmeal. But today's schedule is a dead head to Atlanta, working a Wilmington, North Carolina turn and end off in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So. Bags are packed, did a walk through, and I'll catch y'all later. travelers so it is the end of day two um just got to my hotel in harrisburg i'm actually about to <laughs> head out with my flying partner we actually have a 19 and a half hour layover which is amazing it's currently 10 36 so we're about to rush and try to get a couple drinks in after the day that we have today so if i get back on i'll explain it to you of the hectic day we had today if not i'll tell you guys tomorrow Good afternoon, world travelers. Good afternoon. You know what? Let me mess up this bed before I forget. Just so housekeeping can clean it. But uh, it's about 4 o'clock. It's 4.04. We have a 4.20 van today. It's an easy day today. Quick two flights. Harrisburg to Atlanta. Atlanta to Des Moines, Iowa. And we'll be done by... 10 central 11 eastern standard time and then tomorrow's go home day so yesterday was like a hot mess from gate agents not pulling their end of the stick rude passengers mask issues disrespect mm -mm. yesterday was what a what a day wednesday what a day wednesday like i thought it was gonna be great i thought it was gonna be a great day and it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't but i had a great flying partner so that makes up for it but um let's see what today has in store for us i'm about to head out bags are packed but we did venture off into harrisburg but this is the first time that i'm talking to you guys for today so yeah let's go down early gotta get a new mask and i'll see y'all later bye <laughs> So 
we are in Des Moines. Um, it was really, it was originally supposed to be a two hour and 15 minute flight, but halfway through the flight or a little bit more than halfway through the flight, um, we were given an alternate route, which gave us a shortcut and we landed 30 minutes early. So the flight ended up being like an hour and 45 minutes. I just want to tell you guys that if you're wearing headphones, don't keep saying, ha, 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 I can't hear you. You really think your, fl your flight crew want to keep repeating themselves to you? Like, be respectful, remove your headphones so you can hear what is being said to you and or the announcements. Therefore, there is a clear lines of communication between customers and your flight crew. And then another thing, <laughs> um, so this man, he kept having his leg out in the aisle and I, I told him twice, I was like, excuse me, sir, you're gonna have to keep the aisle clear because I've already tripped on you twice. And he's like, okay, cool, cool. And he was traveling with his wife. So the third time I trip on him, mind you, it's a late flight, so I can't really see, but he's a tall guy and I know that his foot was out there. I checked and you know, I still tripped on it. So the third time I'm like, sir, Please, so, you know, so no one gets hurt. I've already tripped on you. This is my third time. Can you please keep your foot out of the aisle? His wife go turn to me saying, whatever you need to say to my man, you can say to me too. I don't appreciate all this small talk behind my back. Ma'am, then check your man, please. I don't want him. I don't want him, sweetheart. <laughs> I do not want him. And I'm like thinking to myself, I'm speaking loud enough for you to hear what I am saying, so. Ain't nobody want your man. <laughs> but that is all. Um, flights were quite a bit bumpy, but I'm glad it was a two flight day and I'll see y'all tomorrow because it's go home day. I need to go plan out my commute route, so. I road traveler, so it is day 404, so that means we go home today technically tomorrow but that's besides the point i'm explain to you why um we have three flights today we're in tomorrow we'll be working a flight to atlanta doing a gainesville florida turn i'm gonna be so close to home yet so far and then i should be back in atlanta by eight o'clock this evening so the reason why i say that i will be getting home tomorrow is because we finish at eight there's two nine o'clock flights one is oversold to the capacity and another is on another airline which is there's only uh, one seat and there's eight of us on the standby list and i'm at the bottom of the priority list there's also a 10 o'clock flight which is oversold so the next available flight is an 11 30 or an 11 45 flight and that will get me into jacksonville at around 12 30 12 45 and i should be walking in my house at around 1 15 1 30 in the morning so like i said i need to get some coffee to get myself prepared for today but hopefully we have no drama no no drama no drama no mask issues no defiant passengers great pilots great gate agents and that's on what that's on go home day that's on go home day. We are striving for greatness today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. I will see you guys later. <laughs>checking in for my flight because I had to get an alternate deadhead um, for my later flight Jacksonville but I just had to submit a flight incident report because we had a passenger who told me while serving 
all the customers um, almonds because that's what was in the snack pack that she had a severe nut allergy. So people were already eating and she was complaining about her eyes were itchy and she didn't have her EpiPen. And I'm like, if you have an allergy, not being insensitive, you should always travel with your EpiPen. But she ended up being fine, but I told her that she needs to put that in her um, itinerary for her future flights, you know, because it could have been a worse situation. So um, I ended up writing that up. So if anything happens, it doesn't fall back on me. And like I said, I'm checking in for my flight. Um, and I'll be home soon. Not soon, because I gotta wait here for another three and a half hours, but yeah. Good morning, world travelers. Good morning. I did wanna thank you guys for watching this week's video. Um, I got home rather late from my commute, close to two o'clock in the morning, so I'm exhausted. It's only 11. Um, Ooh, excuse me. I thought Simba had class today, but class has been canceled because his instructor has um, a family emergency. So hoping everything is well on that end. But um, I want to reiterate, if you are a passenger who has a severe nut allergy, please ensure that when you are checking in your bags or when you at the ticket counter or at the gatehouse, you let the gate agent or the ticket personnel know so they could put it on our manifest so we can not serve it and find alternate snacks because it is really your responsibility just so there's a clear cut means of communication. And if you forget, when you get on the plane, please tell your flight attendant before taking your seat that you have a severe nut allergy. But Simba is right here. Say hi, Simba. Papa, say hi. <laughs> Say hi, Papas. <laughs> He's next to me because I was eating and he just think he gonna get all the human food in the world. You can't, Papas. You can't, my love. But once again, um, this was a great trip because I had a great flying partner. Ooh, can you guys see me? I just washed my hair, so I got my um, wash day braids in. But I had a great flying partner. It's always great vibes when I work with her. But be sure to like this video. We are going to comment um, some wolves because Raleigh is the state or the home state of the wolf packs. That was on that little welcome sign. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you are new here and you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you are returning here and you're not subscribed, what you waiting for? Subscribe. And for my OG subscribers, I thank and appreciate you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, world. Bye. <laughs>